Well guys, I'm in uh, Powell River right now and I'm going to be boarding the ferry to head over to Vancouver Island. So uh, I think it's right now it's about uh, 1.30 in the afternoon and I do believe it uh, leaves at 5 o'clock or 5.30ish in there somewhere. Credit please. So I'm in Port Alberni and I uh, did the usual thing you have to do every week, week and a half, that's laundry. And uh, so at the same time I uh, went to um, Anytime Fitness, took a shower, just cut down laundry, picked up some wood, um, got some food. Here's another nice spot right here. We've got uh, some a fire pit here, right along the side of the road, just like where I'm parked, and uh, some beautiful views, especially uh, that one. What a view!
the damn handle off the reel. <laughs> and yes, if you've uh, noticed, see this right here? Yeah, war wound. <laughs> so I was down here yesterday and I was coming back up here on the slope here and wearing these damn things. And right there, my feet went out from underneath me and I did a face, face plant right there. And uh, yeah, war wound. I wish alcohol was involved, but it wasn't even involved. <laughs> oh well. Here we go, boys and girls, look at this thing. Beef rib. So I uh, took the skin off the back, which you've probably seen, and then I have a barbecue rub, then I did Mrs. Mrs. Dash's, and then garlic. So I brought it up to room temperature. Oh my God. <laughs> look at that piece of meat, guys. Look at that. Is that not absolutely stunning? Gonna get that down a little closer to the heat. That's about as far as I want to go. Oh, and uh, by the way, thanks uh, the Fire Pit Forge. Yeah, and the Fire Pit Forge. Look them up, guys. I've already done a video on this stuff. Well, there you go, guys. That guy that just left there. He just uh, look at that. See, this is what I'm talking about. Good people. He just stopped and he goes, "You want some extra wood?" I said, "Absolutely." So there we go because uh, I was telling them five bags. So four bags of this, and then one bag of the kindling, which they still count at the same price, was $90. $90 at the Petrocanada station in Port Alberni. Can you believe that? Anyways, that was real nice of them to stop and uh, see if I wanted it. Uh, so guys, listen, not that I'm complaining by any means. I mean, look at this, look at my backdrop here, right? This is where I'm staying, okay? And I got the beef ribs out here. Look at those bad boys. You can tell the snow is right there, okay? So if there's snow up there, that means it's obviously cold. And as soon as the sun 
dips down below that little horizon, which you can see right there. Right there. See it? It's just disappearing now. It dropped like probably 15 degrees. I've been out here with a t-shirt all day long. It's been beautiful. I was out fishing. Yes, never mind. Not even a bite. But all of a sudden, that sun goes down and it now becomes absolutely freaking cold. <laughs> All right, well, it's about 1.30 and the fog finally lifted off this lake. This morning when I uh, woke up, I looked out the window of the camper and I couldn't even see the lake. And it was windy and very cold. So I think uh, um, Eric was saying it was like uh, on his truck said four degrees Celsius. So cool enough. All right, fishy. Well, <clears throat> I figure since the sun came out and it's actually warming up pretty decent right now that uh, I might be getting some stuff done. So this is that HDMI cable that I have to run from over here to where the uh, Victron equipment is to the far side where I sit. And so you know where my tank indicators are and stuff like that. That's where I'm gonna mount that display. And on there, the graphics will show me exactly what's going on also. I know I got the Bluetooth, but this will be a little screen. So anyways, I'm gonna see if I can't fish this up. Um, when, I, when I fished all the other lines up there, I should have left a, a stringer or something, but I think this actually might work pretty good. I forgot about that. I gotta get up, up through that hole. Oh boy. I totally forgot about that. There's actually a hole. There's actually a hole right there. I gotta come up. So when I ran the wires, I took all this duct work out. I totally forgot about that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gotta come up that hole. Either that or shove it down from the top and then try to hook onto it. What do you think? Should work? my cable is underneath here so it's, the display is going to go up in here somewhere I just got to uh, take this off here to see what's behind here whether I can just uh, make my notch right there for it just like I did with the, this guy here right um, I installed this these two this goes to the, turn the inverter off and on and this is just a power station and these two switches at the end run my floodlights which you would have seen so it's done there but uh, the cable is right here um, and I just have to 
run it up around and plug it into that box at the far corner over there. Um, but I'm not too, too worried about doing it today because there's no display up in the wall. I'm just thinking that'll be a perfect day because, you know, I'm on Vancouver Island. It's going to be raining quite a bit here lately, so this will give me a job. I had to get the uh, cable ran in the basement. Yes, there's a basement. Um, that way I can cut this open, and that's good for a rainy day. I didn't want to do this on a rainy day. So anyways, we'll go outside here for a second. I'm not sure if I ever showed you the basement. <laughs> Don't worry, people still laugh when I call it a basement. But there it is right there. So there's actually, uh, it is surprising. There's quite a bit of room down here. And uh, let me take you off of the mount here. Give me a second here, there we go. So um, these are the cables and I'm hoping you're gonna be able to see this. So there are the cables here that run the inverter, okay? And they go up along there. So remember their, their parallel runs of one out cable and each cable is in a wire loom. And then I clamped it uh, to the bottom like that. And I just tie wrapped the HDMI cable to the clamps. But again, like I already found out on YouTube, do not do anything I do. Do not do anything I do. This is what I did. I'm not telling you how to do it, okay? I've already found out the hard way. So then this tray here, this is the tray that sits in the basement. So it slides out and this is where I put my tripod and obviously I got a metal detector, an extra, tent, or an extra propane tank, um, snow brush, heater, some gloves, pruning, and my um, um, rotisserie, 12 volt rotisserie. Yeah, that's where I keep a lot of that stuff there. So anyways, that cable's ran now, which is good. That'll give me uh, a nice job inside to uh, complete it, so. All right guys, so if, you, if you've been following me, you already know that yes, I'm cooking and yes, it's gonna be pitch black before I'm done. But, so I got the, uh, the grill all getting uh, warmed up here. But look at this. Look at that thing. So I'm gonna cook that. And I, know, I just noticed that these wings have been in my fridge now for about three days now. So I think I, I gotta put them on, but I'm also gonna have another piece of the ribs. That's what's left over from last night's supper. So I'm gonna warm them up and then I got a small piece of chicken. So you saw me the other day cooking up that chicken. So I'm gonna uh, um, finish it off. It's actually 5 p.m. right now. So it's not gonna take long here before uh, it gets totally darkness. And like I said, you guys already know, I'm gonna be cooking in the complete blackness here, but that's how JJ does it, right? Anyways, another beautiful day. Okay guys, there we go. <laughs> Does that not look fantastic? There's that beautiful trout. It looks like the trout's going after a chicken wing right there. Oh yeah. So uh, that is gonna be some good eating right there. Look at that. Guys, does it get any better looking than that? Number, number, number. <laughs> that is pretty cool. It does look like that fish is going after that chicken wing. I like it. That's gonna be the thumbnail actually.
Well, guys, look at that. It's not complete pitch blackness when I'm done cooking today. So, we got uh, a beautiful trout. Look at this thing. And some chicken wings, and I you already know I had the uh, beef ribs. So, let's get into this bad boy. Beautiful. <laughs> How many people would eat a fish like this or eat fish at all? Again, my sister, Jackie, <laughs> she would lose her bananas right now. If I cooked this and she was here, she'd probably get in her car and drive away, head into town, go to McDonald's or go to a Pizza Hut or something and come back. <laughs> she would lose her cookies if she saw me eating like this. Anyways, guys, I, uh, mm. I'm going to finish this. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. You guys have a good night. Mm. Well guys, that's it for uh, Sprout Lake. Uh, it's my fourth day here. I, uh, well, you saw me pack up the uh, basement, so I got the grill, the tripod and the uh, grill put back away. Um, I'm just gonna have those uh, chicken wings that I cooked last night on the grill over the fire. I'm just gonna heat them up on the barbecue. Um, but other than that, it'll, it's too bad because just like it does every day, it does burn off the clouds, but now the sun's gone down. It's right behind the mountains there. Um, I think, just because of the way the peaks are, I think I will actually see the sun again for like maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes before it actually goes down the rest of the way. So if I spin you over there, you'll uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. So you can see right now that the uh, the sun is the sun is like. So you see right there. This that's where the sun is right there. So it goes down on an angle, but then all of a sudden it will peak right about there again. It'll show itself, but then all of a sudden it keeps heading down and down and that's it. So, uh, yeah, too bad. And uh, it does make a huge, so it does make a huge difference when the uh, sun goes down. This is a nice spot right here. I like this one because, yeah, I, I get there's spots back there, so of course I'm going to have the traffic going by me. But nine times out of ten, I'm just by myself like this, and that's perfect. So I heard a guy running his generator, which is fine, but I mean, he's way over there, so I barely even heard it. So that's kind of why I like this spot right here. And then my view, absolutely stunning. But anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I know I got a lot of footage here, so it's probably going to be a long one again. Again, I'm sorry. I, I'm some, somewhere between the 20 to 30 minutes in there somewhere, and I, and I try, guys. I, I really do. So I hope, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this place, too. And uh, I was actually kind of happy to get the drone out there. So anyways, I think that's going to be it for this one, guys. So, as always, you know the drill. Be good, be kind, be careful. We're going to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.